Right, I'd like to thank Keith Skirt for his uh, Ice Bucket Challenge nomination. I noted good use of uh, suitable PPE and I expected nothing less from someone with such high standards of occupational health and safety in the diving industry. A true professional if ever there was one. Now, I've seen many of these challenges on Facebook and YouTube and I must say most have been pretty pathetic. Nothing more than a cup half full of tepid water with little or no evidence of ice. I'd like to reassure all these visitors and viewers that so you not get such a half-hearted effort from me. In fact, I have a suitable large bucket of ice available, significantly large quantities of ice water at hand to complete the challenge many times over. Ice, people, ice, not tepid water. So, we're going to do this properly. Now, not to be outdone, by Keith and his approach to safety, I have conducted a task risk assessment and I have noted the required precautions to take to ensure that the challenge is conducted in a safe and appropriate manner. Hang on while I go and prepare myself. Okay, all suited up, hot water supply is on. Here we go, come on team, let's get this done with. You might need to wait over there, Nadia. Okay, ready, let's go. honestly see what all the fuss is about. <coughs> now, I nominate three people to carry this challenge forward. It was hard to identify as someone dumb enough to repeat this task or someone with a daring and twisted sense of adventure or someone who isn't old enough to have learnt the lessons in life. So I nominate these three people. Firstly, I nominate Gary Jackson. Dumb enough to try anything. The challenge is to be completed on your surfboard prior to tombstoning. You manage that one? Secondly, Travis Matthews, I nominate you, okay? Someone who has a twisted and daring sense of adventure and a strange sense of humour. The challenge is to be completed with the assistance of your twisted twin brother to be performed on the banks of the River Thames. Thirdly, I nominate Nadia Langmaid, young enough to not to have learned much about the dangers of ice cold water <laughs> not old enough to use the F word, unlike some other little girls I've been seeing on uh, Facebook recently. So, Nadia, here darling, I've got a surprise for you. What? Yeah? Oh. Apparently, I'm not allowed to nominate Nadia. She's apparently a little bit too young. So, in her place, I shall nominate and I'm sure Mark is going to enjoy pouring ice cold water over her head. I am going to nominate Michelle Lohman. Right, apparently I've been accused of not engaging in the true spirit of this challenge. So, just to show you, I'm up to the challenge. And partly because my wife won't let me back in the house until I've done it. We're going to do this for real. Okay, come on kids. Oh, it's not that cold. <laughs> oh, 